guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaylee June and I'm a beauty and fashion photographer based in Australia. And recently I've created this channel to help you guys out with any freelance, creative business, hacks, tips and tricks, all of the things associated with having a creative business I love talking about. So I decided to create a YouTube channel about it. Now today we are going to be talking about the creative dilemma and this is when you want to do too many things, but you're not sure what to do. And I have definitely experienced this in my time as a freelancer and as a creative, there's been so many things that I've wanted to do, but then I didn't know where to start. I didn't know what to focus on. How do you niche down? Like all of these things, what do you do? And this is also something that I've talked about a lot with other freelancers and other creatives. And I've found that that's something that's a very common struggle. And especially for really creative people, you don't ever want to feel limited in your business. You don't want to feel like you're doing the same thing all the time as a creative I think we always like to have that next challenge or that next thing that we're looking forward to and striving for. So we're going to talk and create a little bit of a discussion about this topic today and what my thoughts are on this subject and maybe how you can kind of look at it in a different mindset or look at doing a number of things in a way that hopefully won't overwhelm you too much. So before we get into the video today, I just want to let you guys know that I actually have relaunched my e-course Beauty Retouching for Beginners. So for any people out there or any creatives that are interested in doing retouching or would like to learn a new skill based around retouching for their businesses or their freelance businesses, make sure you follow the link in the description box below because that will give you a lot more info on the course. It will be starting early June and I'll be giving personalized email feedback to each student after each module each week. So make sure you do get in quick though because I'll be only accepting 20 people in total and 20 students. So if you are interested in learning a new skill and learning beauty retouching, then make sure you click the link in the description box below. So one of the first things I'm going to talk about in relation to this today is finding the things or the genres that speak to you most now, that you're enjoying the most now, not thinking about things all the time that you want to do in future or that you want to do just that are swimming around in your head. Think about what you enjoy now, because hopefully that's going to be the place that you're able to start. I think at the end of the day, we need to recognize that for the most part, most of us do have time. And we don't always have to think about doing things right now and right at this minute in time. There's going to be time to do a lot of the things that you're thinking about doing in your mind. Some of those ideas that you want to create, they don't all have to be done right now. And hopefully that will take that little bit of an overwhelming element out of your mind, because I think that that's one thing that I've struggled with is I've, I've wanted everything to happen straight away. And then I've just had to sit back and recognize that, okay, well, I might want to do a few things. I might want to have some plans for the future and maybe not necessarily think about doing it next week or trying to get it into my schedule right now. We just have to recognize that some things that we want to do might be best done down the track. And maybe that's something that we can create a plan for. If we really want those things to happen, then that's a great way to start. And that's something that I always recommend to people to do. If you really want something, then create a plan of how to do that. And don't always necessarily think that it all has to be done straight away at this point in time. And I think this is really something that comes along with uh, social media and that as well. I think a lot of people and a lot of creatives struggle with knowing whether to put things under the same umbrella. For example, you might have an Instagram as a photographer that you've got all your photography work on, but then you're also interested in doing illustrations and it's like, do I put it under the same umbrella? Do I put it all on the same Instagram? Do I create a completely different Instagram for it? I understand that these things are really confusing too and it's hard to know what umbrella and what box to fit everything under. As I said, try and find those things that you are loving doing right now and that are really something that is enjoyable for you and that you can see yourself continuing on for the next number of years or months or weeks or however long you're looking at doing this for. I think in a sense it is important to niche down when you're looking at doing a number of different genres or different things as a creative. It is important to niche down to an extent. This is not to say that you should only be doing one thing because this is something that I want to talk about more in another video. I don't actually believe that people should just do one thing. I actually, in fact, recommend you do more than one thing as a creative, because I think not only is it good for a creative business to have a backup plan or to have things that are in place if things don't go well with something else that you might be doing. But I actually think it helps give you creative outlets in more than one way. I think if I just stuck to doing only beauty photography for the rest of my life and never did anything online in terms of courses or education material or doing YouTube videos, I think that I'd be really bored. <laughs> as much as I love beauty photography, I love having other little creative elements and other things that I'm focusing on and I like to work them into my business as well. It's just a matter of harnessing all of this so you don't get overwhelmed. It's, it's about finding those ways that you can plan out 
your business and plan out these things that you want to do without completely getting overwhelmed and getting anxious and stressed that you can't even start because you don't know where to start. And one of the biggest tips that I want to talk about in this video right now is if you plan to do a number of things or you want to do a number of things at the same time, make it easy for yourself and simplify it. No matter what you want to do, make sure it's easy and it's attainable and it's going to be a very simple process in attaining and doing those things that you want to do. You have to make sure that you make time for these things and you schedule them. Now, in terms of making things easy for yourself, the one thing that I would say I do to make things easy and make sure that I'm fitting everything into my schedule is I like to make time for everything each day but only a certain amount of each time and, and make them easy tasks to achieve. So for example, if you wanted to do a course and if you wanted to do illustration and if you wanted to start a photography business, if you wanted to do all three of these things, then I would set aside time each day for each one of those things or even particular days of the week. For example, what I like to do with my YouTube videos is I like to have certain days in the week where I film, I like to have certain days in the week where I edit, and I like to set aside certain days in the week where I'm able to go out and photograph and to shoot. I like to make little micro schedules as well for things like my platforms, including Instagram and Pinterest and my blog. Uh, I like to actually set aside different times in the day for that. So for example, I'll set myself a task every day to make maybe repin 10 pins a day. And then that's my Pinterest kind of done for the week. Or I might set another task on the weekend to create seven pins or eight pins of my own content to release on Pinterest. I'll then have another task associated with Instagram for the month where I plan out all of my content for the month. I do that on one day and then that is done. And it makes it so much easier and simplified for me to get on with my work and to get the things done that I wanna get done. So as I said, if you wanna do all these things and you wanna do a few things at a time, I would recommend trying to niche down, as I said, to an extent and really focusing on the things that are making you happy now, that are really giving you a passion to do now and focus on that first and then make sure that whatever you're doing towards these goals or whatever you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis is easy to do and attain. Make sure that you are making time for these things in the easiest possible way because as soon as everything gets too hard and too complicated and way too much, then you're not going to want to do it. And it's definitely something that I've experienced a number of times in the past before. So guys, I find this to be a really interesting conversation and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section below because I'm interested to see whether you guys think that you should niche down to just one thing only or whether you think that it's okay to do a few things as well. I used to actually say, and even on my channel, I've probably got footage of me saying over the years that it's important to do one thing and to focus on one thing. But as I've gotten older and I've evolved with my business, I actually have changed my mindset around this. And I do believe it's okay to do a few different things and to do things that are making you happy and making you feel even more creative. I think at the end of the day, we only have one life and it's important to make it the most creative, most beautiful life that you want it to be. And it's totally okay if you wanna do more than one thing. So guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure you do because I'll be posting a lot more content in future. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.